Hi cuties! Still getting over being sick and I have uh, a finger injury right now, so this is a really weird time to film this. You didn't need to know any of that. I don't know why I told you, but hello. We're here and it's 2022 and that means it's time to announce my 22 goals of 2022! Like last year, I had 21 goals of 2021. This year I have 22 goals of 2022. I don't know how long I'll keep this trend up, but I have thought of several goals of varying contexts, and I have this lovely journal, which is from Winter Song, which is a book I super enjoy by S.J. Jones. I have filled every single page with something with my goals and a few other like trackers and things. So today we're kind of doing a journal flip through. It is not really a bujo. I just want to put it out there because I, I can't, I can't bujo. This is literally just the journal form of what my posters used to be. And it's going to be throughout the entire year. So I don't know, maybe it's a little bujo, but I'm not good at bujoing because I can't draw to save my life. And I traced a lot of this before I gave up and was just trying to write it. Um, did not go well. I'm setting up another camera so that you guys can see the 22 goals of 2022. It's on the floor, so you get to see my ugly carpet. Enjoy that. For the most part, before we get into it, these are not necessarily goals that I think I will actually achieve. I think I will achieve some of them. With how 2021 went, I never know what's going to be thrown my way and the trend as of late is everything and everyone seems to want to beat me down to the ground. So I have extremely low expectations for 2022. Yeah, but I did think of things that, hey, it'd be nice if I could do this. That's kind of what these goals are. They're not the usual New Year's resolutions. There's some of them are but not the usual ones that you hear people do and then give up within a month. Um, they're a little bit more concrete of goals. If you have also made a goals for this year, I love to see it. I like to see what other people's goals are and you can join my Discord and we can talk about things and help cheer each other on and all that jazz. Link is in the description. Anyway, let's get to the journal flip through of this all by going down to the floor. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! 22 goals of 2022. We colored this in on a live stream, by the way. So if you're in the live stream, you know what my goals are, but you don't know the entirety of this journal. I'll tell you that. So the very first goal, and these are in alphabetical order, is the adulting goal. I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to explain too much about it. It's just learning a bunch of adult things that I don't know and feel like as a 34 year old, I probably should start knowing better. So Things like 401k, insurance, handling loans, mortgages, car stuff, those things. Yeah. Next up, we have the audiobooks goal. So with audiobooks, we have, I'm going to try to do all of them for Ashport. So I need to finish Phoenix and do Hoopaway Kuruda, Follow the Astronom, and the little prequel novella. I wanted to do that for making them all audiobooks so that they are all accessible. Then we move on to book binding. So book binding is a a little goal that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to learn how to bind books and so with it I have determined I need to get the supplies, watch my tutorials, practice it a bit, and then I want to bind like do leather bound copies of or one copy of each of Ashport and that's just like for me to have. I would like to do that. We've got a book nook, another craft. So I really like seeing book nooks and like bookshelf inserts and stuff and I really wanted to make one myself. So I need to obviously design one, get the supplies, build it, and we will be making a video about it. Same with the book binding stuff. There will be videos about it should I complete it. Then we have a very silly goal, which is camping. Yes. I have lived in Colorado since I was four years old and I have never been camping and I would like to experience camping. I don't know if I'll enjoy it because I am an indoor cat, but we'll see. In order to go camping, we need supplies, we need to pick a date, we need to have a trip, and we need to make a video, obviously. I don't know when camping will happen, but maybe, maybe, maybe this summer. All right, next up is classic. So this is a reading related goal. I would like to challenge myself to read one classic every single month. Um, I've already picked up my book for 
um, January because one classic did make its way onto the 22 books of 2022, which is A Tale of Two Cities. So um, I don't know how I'm, I might draw them from a bag, but I will be writing down like the title each time I complete one. Well, not each time, but one representative of the month because I do still have to finish all of Anna Green Gables. I only have a few more books of the series left, but I'm not counting it quite as the classics because I want it to be the the classics I've got up top there. This goal is, sorry, there's two pages for that one. We've got coding. So I would like to learn more about website coding so that I can better handle my website by myself and possibly make a new website that isn't trash like mine is. I need to learn how to code and all that jazz. So we're gonna study, practice, and make the website. Computer, so I have a computer, obviously. I would like to upgrade said computer with video card. Well, it doesn't really say that, but I need to research the stuff that I need, budget how much it's gonna cost me, buy the stuff, and install the stuff. So I mostly I just need a new video card or a, a good video card um, because I would like to play better games with my friends on it, but my computer cannot handle gaming. I mostly, my computer can handle video editing. That's what it can handle and not a whole lot of it. So I would like a better video card. We've got costume making. So I used to cosplay many, many moons ago when I was in college. I've helped a few people with sewing and like I sewed my own clothes when I was in Japan. I would like to return to that realm and I have very specific ones that I want to do. So I have four cosplays for me and one for a present. Um, so you can see the names of who they are. Explaining it a little bit closer, we've got Lizzie from Pride and Prejudice. I would, it's not necessarily Lizzie herself, but I would like to make a Regency era dress. Uh, you know, that empire waist and stuff, so I would like to do that. We have Anne, Anne of Green Gables. I would like to make a puffed sleeves dress for Anne. I don't know which Anne I'll do, but same again, the time period. I would like that kind of dress. Danielle from Ever After, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. Not necessarily any of her specific costumes, but something of that realm. So like a Ren Faire costume basically is what I'm going for. Then we have Aggie, who is from The Worst Witch, the original 1980s Worst Witch with Tim Curry. And there's the evil witches named Aggie and she sings the song, so if you fell fey, smelly, evil, wicked, and cruel, you'll be right at home in my little school. She's an evil witch who wants to take over the, the witching schools. Witching school. Um, and I love her outfit, and I would love to create an outfit like that, because I would like to go for her as Halloween, or go as her for Halloween. I have English skills in my brain today. And then we have Laszlo, which if you ever watch the show What We Do in the Shadows, Laszlo has a cursed hat that I would like to make for my brother-in-law, because he looks like Laszlo. And I promised him this hat for like years, and I've never made it. It's gonna take a lot of leather work, a lot of patchwork. And I've never made a hat before, so we'll see. Anyway, the Dun Did It Jar. So with the Dun Did It Jar, I always, by the end of the year, it's really easy for me to focus on all of the bad things that happen. And granted, in 2021, a lot of bad things happened to me. But I would like to attempt to make a jar every time I have like a little accomplishment or a big accomplishment, I'll write it on a sticky note and put it in that jar. And at the end of the year, I'll be able to go through and see what good actually happened. Because I do think in general, it's, I focus on a lot of negative things. I don't really feel proud of myself ever, ever because a depression, but, um, I just am really like, even if something good happens, it usually gets overshadowed by the bad stuff. So I would like a different way to kind of remember what good things I did do. So we have a done did it jar. I will be making it probably live on a live stream or something. Um, I do, I have acquired the jar, but I want to decorate it and stuff. So done did it jar. So we need to design, fill, fill the jar, review it in video, and that'll be at the end of the year. Next up is embroidery. So if you've stuck around here a long time, you know that I used to do embroidery like nobody's business, and I miss it a little bit. And I think it'd be a really fun thing to do while, you know, listening to an audiobook and just create something pretty. And yeah, I just want to get back into embroidery. I was trying to for a, bur for a gift, but the fabric I chose was not good for embroidery. Um, so just do some design supplies. I don't have a full goals like how many embroidery designs I want to do maybe one a quarter 
is a very low bar, but we have that. Next up, we have exercise classes. So on my whole journey with weight loss um, and the bariatric surgery and stuff, I do need to maintain and, and you know, keep myself exercising. And I do have like a gym membership, but it's very solitary and I would like to attempt to do some classes and also like learn some new skills. So at some point I would like to try like aerial stuff, like aerial silks. Um, I'd really like to learn silks, honestly. That's the one I have most interest in. Um, but a little different kinds of exercise classes. I'd love to see if I can get into a taiko group anywhere. Last time I tried, they wouldn't take me because I wasn't Japanese enough for them or at all. I would like to get back into a different way to treat exercise as something more fun and not something that is just go to gym and walk on treadmill or lift some weights because those aren't fun to me and I don't feel like I gain anything, especially when I'm alone doing it. So joining an actual class would be more fun. So I'm going to try to do one class every single month. I have one picked out for January. I just don't know if it's happening because COVID stuff again. So it might be an online class. All right, we've got finances. So I just need to really focus on getting my finances in order, especially after losing my job this year. Everything for me tanked and finances have been a very difficult thing. I'm not going to flip this page because there's some personal stuff in there um, that I don't want the internet to know, but just know that I want to get in control of them a little bit better. Now that I have a new job, in theory, I'll be able to get back on my feet a little bit, but it's not easy. Next up, we have Indie 2022, which I've made announcements about this before, so I won't go into too much detail with it, but every single month, we are going to be trying to read an indie book from this lovely shelf that I have here. We have selected our January book, which is Strange Gods by Alison Kimball. It won by one vote. It was close between that one and New World Rising. So we are reading Strange Gods. I mean, you can read any of the books that were nominated or any indie book at all. It's just if you want to join me in reading what book I'm going to be doing. Um, but there is, it is on the Discord, so probably halfway through January we'll start voting on February's book and then maybe do a little live show discussion about the book that we read in January. So stay tuned, join the Discord and all that jazz and more info coming. The big goal, the big one that I didn't get to do again is Japan. I still would like to go back to Japan and visit. Probably wouldn't happen again until the end of next of next year, this year now. Um, so I still need to get the funds, the date, and have a trip ready for that. But I'm just I'm desperate to go back just for a vacation and have some fun. It might not happen again this year, but it is always a goal. And speaking of a hilarious goal that I don't think will happen, but maybe it will, is learn D&D. Yes, I have never played D&D before. I never uh, when i was younger my sister played it in our living room with her friends and i thought they were all really weird and they kind of freaked me out and sometimes the type of people that play dnd are not the type of people i get along with <laughs> but i that's not true because like a lot of my friends play dnd but i'll say like the strangers that i've met in years past have not been people i wanted to hang out with and also a lot of dnd it seems very complicated to me and for me, like, I like playing board games and stuff, but they're quick, quick things. And D&D &D just goes on for so long, and there's so many intricate things to it that it boggles my mind how D&D &D works. So we'll, we'll attempt. I'm going to watch some D&D &D videos, uh, create my character. That's not create a campaign. I, I'm not a dungeon master, but, and then play. Um, we'll see if that happens. It's kind of a goal that I put on there that I'd like, do I want to? I don't know. Next up, again, coming over but again from 2021, is Visit Michelle. Um, we just actually spoke again uh, about this last the, last night, the other night, last night, maybe, um, of how we really want to reunite, and I really want to go see her, but then I was, I was literally, I was so close to having that happen for me last year, and then the job loss. So, we're going to try. Maybe spring. Springtime will be the Michelle. All right. So that's, again, day fun strip video. That's how you do it. We have monthly writing goals. So I have already determined my first quarter goals. So what I did, and I did this on a live stream, was I rolled a percentile die. Because see, I don't play D&D, but I have all the dice. I rolled a percentile die. That'll, that will be the quarter goal. And then I'll break that into the months. So I've already done that. 
Uh, actually, no, wait, I did that for all of them. That's right, because Fee wanted to do it. So Fee and I both did this. Um, so you can I'll hold it a little bit closer. Oh, oh, that's right. I think I got 100K. 100,000 words in the first three months. I have not started this goal yet, but so each month I need to write around 33,330 some odd words to do that. I did 70K for second quarter, and then I went back to another 100K for third quarter, and then we did 80K. 80k for quarter four so we really rolled we rolled very high on percentiles that is the the writing goals that i have for the month because i really need to do better with writing and not just let NaNoWriMo be the thing that makes me write i need to do it on my own again next up is publish his pacac sort of what i need to do is query i need to finish up getting the um uh the the manuscript edited and i we've only got a few chapters left i have about 500 some odd dollars left to pay my editor and hopefully with my Christmas bonus I'll be able to do that But I do have a copy page if you want to help me out a little bit there I will query once that is done. I've already written some query letters I just haven't sent them out yet because I don't want to do that until everything's ready to go um, I will be getting my rejections. Hopefully I will actually receive rejections uh, I mean, I don't want to but I want to physically receive them uh, so that I can keep them all because I have a plan for my rejections uh, and hopefully I snag an agent and get to go on submission maybe within the year we'll see I know it's a very long process but that's the goal at least getting through this process next up is continuing renovations on my parents house um, my base room that used to be mine is almost done we just need to do some molding on it and get the door and then just put in all the furniture that my dad wants in it but that's also more his realm of what he wants it to look like and stuff but I do want to help continue renovating the bathrooms the old cat room the rec room and the hallway down the basement hallway um, we'll see how much we get done this year for it next up is short stories so I'm terrible at writing short stories I would like to get better at writing short stories so every month on the discord I will be attempting to write a short story I will be encouraging everybody you can write anything you want or you can join me in the challenges so every month there is a challenge um and i've rolled pre-rolled the first quarter as well for this um with the three short stories so i rolled for the genre and i also rolled for if i'm going to revamp one of my old 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 like tweeny stories and into something new and better or if i'm going to do an original so for the first two months of the month we do have a, a revamp and it is sci-fi is what we rolled so if you want to write a sci-fi short story with us, I'm not putting a word limit on it. You can make it what you want, um, obviously, but I might uh, bind everything together eventually or do audiobook thingies for it. Something where we can all share our short stories with each other. Uh, but if they're all sci-fi, I might we might do a little collaborative compilation on anthology even. Who knows? Um, this is very beta stages of this but we have that I'll be revamping an old story same with February I'll be revamping an old story which was historical fiction um again I wrote this I think I wrote this story like my early college years the one that I picked but it's terrible so revamping for historical fiction and then in March I will be doing an original story which was a high fantasy right high fantasy short story is March I have not rolled the uh, I have rolled the genres for the next month we're not going to go over them all right now we'll reveal that later but I have rolled first quarter because I wanted to make my first quarter goals last goal this is the 22nd goal is become a twitch affiliate I'm very close to becoming one so I hope this is achievable I need a few more followers like three or four more followers on twitch and then I just need to get that average view time up to par or average viewers each time so if you're on twitch please come follow me on twitch and help me reach this goal um i, I also do follow back on twitch because i like to watch a lot of people i'll just put them on in the background i kind of lurk a lot on twitch um but i am watching watching you tell me if you are on on twitch and you can do that cool 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 I'm very close to reaching said goal i need to do a regular schedule which i do believe I probably will be streaming either on Fridays or Saturdays because I will have those days off um, from work, which is nice. But yeah, ta-da. Then we have mini goals. These are just quick little ones.
I don't know how long this was not filming for. As I'm literally talking about getting a new camera, the camera shut off. So that proves my point right there. But anyway, with the mini goal, I would like to get a new camera, one that is HD. It doesn't suck and uh, doesn't cut off every 20 minutes and have terrible battery life. I'd like to get a new desk chair because the one I sit on is terrible. Um, it just, it's stiff as hell. <laughs> not cushiony. New shelves, so not these shelves, but I have this gray shelf over here that I would like to get rid of. Um, it's fine and nice, but I don't like it anymore and it takes up so much space. So I would like uh, to replace it with new shelves that are not weird shapes. <laughs> on schedule, so I would hope to go back to conventions this year. We started, I have a convention coming up next weekend, but we don't know if it's happening or not. And I'm really scared about it because we can't get ourselves under control with COVID. So hopefully I'll be able to go to more conventions this year. We'll see. Improve Excel. So I'd like to improve my Excel worksheet that I made for my book tracking and also improve my Excel skills, which I've already started doing technically because of work making me do it. And I learned a couple new things. I just learned conditional formatting. It's probably something a lot of people already know about, but it made me happy. And press hardcovers. So Hala just did um, Barnes & Noble Press and got hardcover copies of Tower of Dogs. And I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited. By the way, Tower of Dogs comes out January 11th. Go get your pre-orders right now. It's an excellent story and I'm very excited for it. And uh, she had this and I'm like, oh, that's a thing. So I'm gonna attempt to do uh, hardcovers of Ashport and see see what that'll look like, but it'll be really fun. Then a new banner. So when I go to conventions, I have this giant banner for the Ashport. I would like to revamp it, redesign it, and get a new one. So those are my mini goals. Technically moving is another goal, but it's not really mini, but we'll see. So I have my quarter one. So we have my quarter one focuses. So you see my terrible handwriting. This is how I actually write. We've got do the 100K words, revamp Cyber War, which is the story that was selected three classics in the, in the short, and then we have, or in the quarter, two other short stories. So we're revamping a story called Rhiannon and an original high fantasy. Finish the Hispacac edits and start querying this quarter. We're going to try to finish the Search for the Phoenix audiobook, do one costume, and join my exercise class. So I will do that, and I will put what I did complete on the bottom half. For January itself, the focuses are this many words, 33,334 words, revamp the Cyber War short story, read one classic, the 180 Strange Gods, finish Hispacac edits, and half, at least half of the Search for the Phoenix audiobook, if not all of it. February, I haven't finished making these, so I go through and then I just have all the months. And then we have quarter two, April, May, June, quarter three, July, August, September, quarter four, October, November, December. All right, and then we have the 2022 review, but that's not the end of the book because we have, ah, I put in all the 22 books of 2022. They are all labeled here. You can see them all in my terrible, terrible handwriting. I will color them in as they get completed. On top of that, we have all the 22, uh, 2022 new releases. I call, call them babies. Um, and these are like, so these are the books coming out in January, you'll see them and then we'll do February and all the jazz. This is what's coming out. I love that S.A. Chakravorty's book does not even have a title yet, but it's supposed to come out the 18th of uh, February, but it ain't yet. I don't know. Um, and then I will color in a little bit if I buy the book and if I read the book. So I'm actually going to do a highlight border if I buy the book and then color it in if I end up reading the book. And so there was a lot. There was like 91 so I have room for this many more because by the end of the, by later in the year we'll see more releases coming coming out. But we also have the books that came out last year. So we're gonna try to see how many of these babies. And these are just the ones that I own. I didn't add also like the releases of 2021 because that was apparently 224 books. I had to do the math on on all that. So um, the ones that I own. So I will color in should I read them. Um, and then current series. So. I am in the middle of quite a few series and I would like to finish those series. I think I had like uh, almost, let's see, there's 22 on this page, 18 plus 22, 40, 
So I'm in the middle of 40 other series. So if we go through them super quickly, we have um, Hinterland. So some of these are literally, I have one book left to read of it, or I have multiples. So we've got Tales from the Hinterland by Melissa Albert to read. We've got the True Colors duology. I have one book to read there. I don't even own the book yet, but we have Kingdom of Cards, which is um, Ace of Shades. So I have two books to go on that one. In the Grishaverse, we have Rule of Wolves. We've got Lives of Saints to read, and then Demon in the Wood will come out this next year or this year. Cruel Prince, I just have the novella, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. We've got Twisted Tales. I have a lot of Twisted Tales that I have not caught up on. I've read four Twisted... Five. Five. I've read five Twisted Tales. I need to read more of those and get them. Um, System Divine, there's only one book left of that series. Same with Graceling. Graceling, I have Winter Keep to read, and then I have the new graphic novel. We've got Rise of the Empress, which I have one more book to do that. We've got the Well Met trilogy. I have one book to do that, which is well matched. We've got, sorry, I'm trying to read this through this. Um, wait, what did I say? Oh, Kingdom of, I miss, I misspoke. Kingdom of Cards is not Ace of Shades. Kingdom of Cards is um, when, Where Dreams Descend, and I have one Night Break, so it's a duology. This one, Shadow Game, is the Ace of Shades, King of Fools and Queen of Bolts. So I need to read two of those. We've got All the Stars and Teeth. Sorry, I'm not focusing well on this. All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace, so I have All the Tides of Fate to read. Half Bad Trilogy, I've got two books to read of that, which is Half Wild and Half Lost. And then the Marys, so the Mary series by the Lady Janies are coming out, so I do have my Contrary Mary. Um, and then my Imaginary Mary will come out this year, and then there's be another one. So there's only two books coming to there. Howl's Moving Castle, I still have two books to read of that. We've got the Aurora Cycle, which I just have Aurora's End to acquire. Curse Breakers by Bridget Kemmerer, so that's the A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I have both the sequels to finish there. We've got Montague Siblings, so I have Nobleman's Guide, which I will be reading this month, so I anticipate finishing that one. Six Crimson Cranes, which I also read this, I just read in December, was amazing, and its sequel will come out later this year. It's a duology, so there. Um, Serpent and Dove, I just have Gods and Monsters to read. Outlaw Road, which was... Um, Sunshield. I almost said Seafire. It's not Sunshield, which I read last year, and then I just have to read Flood Path, which is the duology. Then we have Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, so I have two books to read of that. Simple and Rishi series by Sanjay Menon, so I have like three or four books to do that, because I've only read one book of the series. Uh, Wires and Nerve, which is the graphic novels for Lunar Chronicles continuation. I only have one more to read there. Anne of Green Gables. We have three more books to read. I have um, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and Rilla of Ingleside to read. We've got Temeraire, which has nine books in it, and I've read one. And, and it has a um, prequel. So thanks, thanks for that, V. Uh, we have The Skull Immense by no Naomi Novik, so the, there's two more books coming out for it, which is Last Graduate and Golden Enclave is what was just announced. We have Heartstopper, so Heartstopper Volume 5 should be coming out, and I have two little novellas. For Heartstopper, we've got Seafire by Natalie C. Parker, so there are two more books there, Steel Tide and Stormbreak, which I own Steel Tide, I don't own Stormbreak yet. Um, Ari and Dante, they had their sequel finally come out, Ari, Ari, Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the World is that one. We've got Skyward, so I have to read Cytonic and Evershore, which is another new novella. We won't be getting the fourth book in 2022 though, so that sucks. Uh, Bookish Boyfriends is, I, I forget when I read A Date with Dyer Darcy, but it was several years ago, and I have the sequel, Boy Next Story, and there is a third book um, called Talk Nerdy to Me, and they're cute and, and trash, but I love them. Uh, Shades of Magic, so I just have to read Conjuring of Light by B.E. Schwab for that one. We've got Bone Season, which has three more books right now, but there are planned seven books in that series, but we won't be getting one this year. We've got uh, These Witches Don't Burn. I literally just have to read the prequel novella, and it's an ebook, which is why I haven't done it yet. But there's that. We've got The Dreamer Trilogy by Maggie Steve Fodder. I have not read Mr. Impossible yet. I have owned it. I pre-ordered it. Have not read it. And then the third book should be coming out this year. We've got Aces High, Joker's Wild, which is an indie series. They have several little novellas that I need to read, and I think two full books. I think they're up to book five. And I was hoping to buy them at Mile High Con, and then they couldn't come because I got sick. And then 
we don't know if we'll see each other at Cosine. So I don't know when I'm going to get in my hands on these. Uh, Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, so I still have Swarm and Nexus to read of that series, or the trilogy. Babysitter's Coven, I thought Babysitter's Coven was a duology, it is not. They had another release, so there are two more books I need to read of that one. And finally, Waiting for Tom Hanks, which by Carrie Winfrey, and so I just need to read the sequel, which is not like the movies, which I'm currently reading. So that is all of the current series. Then we have My Shelf Tally. So I just this is just a stats thing. I just want to see where I'm pulling from when we're doing prompts and stuff and where I naturally gravitate to. So I've already pulled for, for January where I've done them, but I'm curious. Then screen time. So I don't watch movies or TV all that much. And I have a little bit of FOMO with that because everyone talks about stuff. And I'm just going to write down what I do watch this year just out of curiosity. There are things that I'm really excited to see. Like I want to see the Amazon Lord of the Rings. Um, I'd like to watch Wheel of Time, which came out. Um, Sandman is coming out and Bridgerton season two, which I really enjoyed. So I didn't really, okay. I, I won't say like I'm a diehard fan of Bridgerton, but I did enjoy it. There's some things that I don't like about Bridgerton. Um, Stranger Things season four is coming out. I used to be a really big Stranger Things fan. It's kind of dwindled a bit, but there are things that are coming out that I'd like to see um, and just haven't seen. So I started watching The Witcher finally. Honestly, not not very happy with it, but that's just that thing. And then finally, we've got my weight loss. So part of my, my journey with bariatric, I have to track my weight and my measurements. So on this every month, I'll be filling in um, all the stuff here so you can kind of see like I'll do the month, there's my weight, and then I will do my measurements for neck, waist, hips, bust, um, thighs, arms, and then my total inches lost there. So um, I can tell you guys, I mean, I, I will make a full update video on bariatric stuff, but I have lost like 66 pounds last I checked. Can you see it? Do you notice? I do, I only notice if I look at an old video right before I look at my new videos, but there's that. There's the journey and that's it. I filled the entire, entire journal. There are my goals for 2022. We'll see what we can complete. Let me know what your goals are for the year down below or if you have a video, um, show me it, join my discord. You can put it in the share your stuff. There are a lot of little channels on it or a lot of little categories and channels to do different things on the discord. So I really hope you join and you know have fun with it. I'm on discord now every single day. I'm on the chat, I'm there, and well, when I'm not at work, but even then I have it on my phone. Yeah, join that and hang out with us and have fun and partake in my challenges if you should like to, but I would like to see what your goals are so that we can all support each other and make sure they get done this year, hopefully. But don't, don't make it too high pressure on yourself to do that. I, won't, I don't care, if I, can, if I don't complete any of these goals, it'll be fine, whatever. Other things came up. That's life. That's life. If you have any other questions or comments, put them down below or on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter or the Discord. Uh, check me out on Kofi if you want to support me as a content creator, and I will see you next time, cuties. Bye. Let's see if I can make this a little better as I've already hit record. It's really hard to flip these pages right now because my finger hurts so bad. I don't know how many of you know this, but I, I messed up my finger somehow and I currently can't close, like, here we go. Here's a regular finger. We can do all this stuff and close it. If I try to close my finger, it hurts so bad to try to do that. And it's like bent and kind of compare. I don't know if you guys can see, but if I do this, oh God, it's bent. <laughs> It hurts. Then we have, if I can, April we got, I forget how much it was. Um, I can do math real quick, hold on. 70K. We <laughs>